Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose. And in this video, we will look at find score of an array after making all elements problem, which is from lead code number 2593. Let's now read the problem statement. In this problem, you are given an array nums consisting of positive integers. Starting with score 0, apply the following algorithm. Choose the smallest integer of the array that is not marked. If there is a tie, choose the one with the smallest index. Add the value of the chosen integer to the score. Mark the chosen element and its adjacent elements if they exist. Repeat until all the array elements are marked. We need to return the score you get after applying the above algorithm. Now, before looking at an example, let's look at the constraint. In this case, you can check out that the total number of elements will be less than equals to 10 to the power of 5. So maximum I can assume 10 to the power 5 number of items. Each of the item can be maximum of size 10 to the power of 6. So if you happen to add all of these values in the worst case, you can get 10 to the power 6 times of 10 to the power 5 as the total sum, which will be 10 to the power of 11. This is clearly outside of the integer range. So you have to take a 64 bit long long integer in order to accommodate this high sum. Okay. So once we have understood this, let's now uh, look at the problem. In this case, you are given the array and let's say that we have six items. Our constraint is to choose the smallest integer. So let's choose the smallest integer. If there are two smallest integers, like let's say at the zero and at five, we have the smallest integers. Then I will always go for the one with the smallest index. That means this first zero. Okay. So this is getting picked. Fine. So first I will pick two. Now add this chosen integer to the value of score. Now I will maintain a score variable. You can call it as the sum variable as well. And I will be simply adding the value to the sum variable. So this will become two. And after picking this, after doing all this, you need to mark i minus 1th index, i ith index and i plus 1th index as well. Marking the indices means they will uh, not be chosen in future. Okay. Now we need to repeat this process unless all the array items are marked. So if you consider the next item to be chosen, it will be 5. Okay. So let's pick 5 and then uh, you will be adding this value and the sum will become 4. Now when it becomes 4, you have to mark the i plus 1th index, the ith index and the i minus 1th index. Now out of all the available options, the minimum item is this 3 at index 2. So 3 will be uh, chosen and the sum will be 4 plus 3, 7. Now in this case, you will be marking 2 minus 1th index, it is already marked. Second index and the third index as well. Now you check out that all the array indices have been marked and therefore uh, we are done and whatever is the sum is our answer. So this problem is more about simulation. The algorithm is already given. We don't have to apply any brain. But then uh, we have to do the simulation in the most optimal way. Now, if you think about finding the minimum again and again uh, from the unmarked items, then you may have to traverse the entire array for finding each minimum which is not marked. And that is why for finding the uh, minimum, it will be order of n. And if you are finding minimum n number of times, then the total complexity can range to order of n square. You already know that n is less than equals to 10 to the power of 5. So if you write an n square algorithm which will become 10 to the power of 10, which is way beyond your one second, right? So this will give you TLE. So we should not do the brute force approach here. Now what can be a better approach in order to choose the minimum out of the given array of items? Well, uh, you already know that if you push all these items into a heap, particularly a min heap, then you will always be able to extract the minimum in order of log n time. Now, if you have any confusion about heap or you want to learn heap in detail about internal implementation as well, then you can watch my heap playlist. The link will be in the i button and also in the description below. But if you already know heap, then let's proceed. So this is quite an intuitive way to make the decision. So in this approach, I will be taking a min heap to extract the minimum in log n time always. But then you have to also keep track of all the indices which are marked. And for keeping that track, we will be uh, having a set as well. You can take an array or anything, right? So I will take a set which will contain all the indices that have been marked. So whenever I pick uh, the minimum item, it should not have been marked in the set. Okay. If you want to store a value in the heap, I will not directly be storing a value because let's say that if you have stored two and two is on the top of the heap, then if two is taken out, you will not know from which index two belongs to, right? So if you don't know the index, 
then how will you mark the i minus 1, i plus 1 and the ith index? You have to also know the index of whatever value you, you are choosing, right? So in order to do that, I will be maintaining a pair of item for each of the heaps, heap elements, right? And that pair will be first value and the second one will be the index, the corresponding index of the value. So whenever I take out the minimum value, the value will get added to the score or the sum value and the index will actually be helping us to mark all the indices that means index minus one index and index plus one also this index will tell us whether this has already been marked okay if it is already present in the set means it is already marked so let's do the dry run first of all i will be pushing all these items into the heap so what all uh, will be the entries i will be uh, entering two comma zero three comma one three comma two four comma three five comma four and two comma five so these will all be the heap elements right now this is a min heap so the value will be uh, by default sorted by the first item which is value okay and if uh, two items uh, have the same value then it will be uh, uh, sorted using index and that is what the problem also expects that if you have two twos then the one on the left side having a lower index should be the one which is picked and this heap the min heap will maintain it by default okay you don't have to write any comparator now let's start the process the first item which is uh, picked out of the heap is uh, 2 comma 0 okay so 2 comma 0 is picked out now in this case uh, the value is 2 and the index is 0 first of all we have to check in the marked index is it already marked you see that this index 0 is not present in the marked index this means that 0 has not been marked yet so what i will do is i will be adding this sum 2 to my total sum that means the score and then I will be marking this index. So I will enter this index 0 and also I will enter index minus 1 and index 1. Now why I am entering this index minus 1? I mean I don't even care. You can just insert it. Why should we do an extra check, right? You can just insert it. I know that it will not happen. So this is the entire process that I will be doing. In the next step, uh, you know the minimum item which is taken out is 2 comma 5. Because 2 is the, is the next minimum value which is in the heap. So you check this index 5 is this index 5 present in the marked index no so when index 5 is not present then i will be adding this value 2 and the sum will become 4 and index 5 will be marked index 4 will be marked and index 6 will be marked okay now now you can see that index 6 is not present but it is fine let it be there okay now the next minimum which is picked out is 3 comma 1 now when you pick out this 3 comma 1 you check this index 1 it is already present in the marked index that means it has been marked the index 1 has been marked and that is why this cannot be uh, added to the sum value and we will just remove it from the heap the next item which will be taken out is 3 comma 2 now you check index 2 is it present in the marked index no so you just add the value so this becomes 7 and you mark the index 2 minus 1 th that means 1 one is already present and since it is a set so it will not contain duplicates two will be inserted and then three will be inserted okay fine now the next item to be picked out is four comma three now you check out this index three it is already present in the marked index so it cannot be included now you check out this five comma four check out the index four index four is already marked so it will not be included and the heap is empty so when the heap is empty we have tried all the items one by one and whatever is the sum value will be our answer which is 7 in this case right now if you consider this entire approach then the heap will always give me the minimum item at every step in log n time okay and the set uh, we uh, insert and uh, remove operation i will just consider it to be theta of 1 or order of 1 okay as i will be taking an unordered set the space complexity will be all the items are pushed inside the heap as well as in the worst case in the set so space complexity will be order of n and the time complexity will be order of n log n because uh, we are doing n times push and pop operation from the heap so this is the entire approach and i hope it was clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program 
the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the nums array and then i will be finding the size of the array i have defined the min heap here and i will be pushing all the items into the min heap one by one i have taken an unordered set which is the marked index which will keep track of all the indices that have already been marked then i am taking a long long integer sum okay initialized with zero so it will keep track of the score now i will be processing each and every item until the heap becomes empty so i'll be taking out the top of the heap and then i will be extracting the value and index from the heap and i will check if the index is already present in the marked index then i will not be processing it i will be just continuing to the next item and if it is not present in the marked index means it is not marked so i will be adding its corresponding value to the score sum and i will be marking index index minus 1 and index plus 1 as mentioned in the problem statement right and once the heap is empty means uh, we have actually processed all the items and finally we will be returning the score sum so i hope you were able to understand this entire approach if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you